Hi guys, it's Ariel. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you guys are all doing well. Today's video was supposed to be a beautiful unboxing of my new GoPro Hero 11. But instead, you guys have another story time about how a delivery company in Paris completely screwed me over and stole up to 900 euros worth of equipment. To be perfectly honest with you guys, I am so sick of this happening and I am so sick of making this kind of content on my channel because every single time this happens, it's like a huge stress and problem for me. But the reason why I decided to make this video and share my story is because I want people to be warned and there are a couple mistakes that maybe I made throughout this process that you, by hearing this story, might be able to avoid if you're receiving a package, especially in Paris. So that is the point of this video to share with you what happened and how maybe I could have avoided it or done a better job of documenting it. But uh, yeah, without further ado, let's get into this story. Basically, Jean and I are going on a vacation in the coming weeks. You might get a vlog on this if I end up with a GoPro, but um, I basically ordered this GoPro and the accompanying equipment so that I could take video footage, like action style video footage or video footage underwater and stuff like that. So that is why I ordered this GoPro. And I also wanted to use it for vlogging. So not only did I buy the GoPro, but I bought like the mic, the protective case, the flip up screen, the lights, like I bought the whole package. That's how this GoPro and all of the accessories cost me like 900 euros. And so I ordered it all good. I called them a couple times because it wasn't really clear when the package was arriving and I wanted to make sure it arrived for my trip. They were super helpful. They were like, yeah, no worries. It should be shipped in two or three days. And I'm like, great. I wish I could have gone to go pick it up at a store, but GoPro doesn't have a store in Paris. So the only option for me was to buy it online and have it shipped to me. And the type of shipping they were doing was to be shipped to my address, not to like a pickup point. So the item, the, the GoPro, the accessories all gets shipped and it's with UPS. And I'm like, whoa, great. Like UPS, I think that's an American company. They're probably pretty credible. At least it's not Trusk like I had for my whole Ikea problem and like the damage they created to my apartment. If you haven't seen that story time, I will link it down below. But uh, I was like, cool, UPS. I, I've definitely had them deliver to me, stuff to me in Canada. So I wasn't like worried about it. So anyways, the day of the delivery arrives. I get an email the night before saying that my package is on the way, should be delivered tomorrow. And so all morning I have my phone on loud. I'm like waiting for the call. Um, because as you guys will know from my previous story times and also if you live in Paris, you'll know that most delivery companies don't deliver to you. They will pretend to come to your address and then say that you weren't home and then deliver it to like a pickup point. That way they only have to make one stop instead of like 20. So I was on it, I was waiting for the phone. I told the gardien in our building and at 10.30, I get a phone call from the UPS drivers. They're like, yeah, we're here. Uh, where, what building you in? And we'll come drop it off, no problem. And I'm like, oh, okay, cool. Like, this is crazy. The first time ever in Paris, a delivery company has actually delivered something like they were supposed to. So I was like, okay, that's weird, but at least they're doing their job. And um, I go downstairs and there's two delivery men and they're both like giggling and smiling and they like thrust these two packages in my hand. They're like, yep, yeah, two packages for you, bye. And like, they're off in two seconds. And as soon as those packages hit my arms, I was like, whoa, one of these is way too light to be a GoPro, but there was two packages. So I was just like, okay, maybe GoPro sent the accessories in one and then the GoPro in the other. And it would make sense that one is lighter than the other. And so I take the packages, the delivery men are like lickety split out of there. And uh, as I'm looking at them in my hand, I realize that the tape from around, like the tape securing the box uh, from the GoPro package is unsealed. Like it's um, scrap. I'll put a picture on the screen of what the package looked like. So it, it looked like it'd been tampered with, but I didn't freak out 100% at the start because I was like, 
You have definitely received packages like this before where the tape is a little bit damaged, the box is a little bit damaged, and nothing has been wrong with the items on the inside, whether it's like Sephora package or a Vinted package. I definitely have had packages arrive where the tape isn't 100% still sticking to the box, and I've never had a problem. So I'm like, okay, don't stress yourself out. And the reason that at this point, I just wanna clarify, alarm bells weren't ringing in my head is because I had received two boxes and one of them was pretty heavy and the other one was light. So I was just like, they definitely just shipped everything in two boxes. I go back upstairs, I like continue on my day and I didn't open them because I wanted to make an unboxing video in the afternoon. And um, I'm texting my boyfriend and he's like, oh, my shoes arrived, like I can't wait to get them, nah, nah, nah. And we had both ordered shoes, I had ordered running shoes and we wanted to go for a run together. It was like, oh, maybe my shoes have arrived as well. So I checked my email, I was like, okay, weird, I haven't had a notification from them but I click the tracking number of my running shoes, which were also shipped with UPS, and it said delivered. And I was like, well, when were my running shoes delivered? And then it clicked in my head that the second package that was given to me was not the rest of the GoPro equipment, it was my running shoes. And so as soon as that clicked in, I like ran back into the living room and like looked at these two packages and immediately like my heart sunk because the bigger package that had like nothing in it had, um, the UPS sticker and on it, it was written that it was supposed to weigh 2.3 kilograms. And truly it was like maybe air was in this package. And so immediately I knew what happened. Immediately I knew that the UPS delivery men had very likely stolen the contents of the package. And it's always scary to have that happen to you because as a customer who gets their the inside of their package stolen by the delivery man or the warehouse man or whoever, you're like, I have no proof except for an empty box and the tears running down my face. So it's always like, just your heart drops, you know? And so I open the package and of course there is nothing in the box except for one item, one of the eight pieces of equipment that I ordered. It was the chesty, it's just like a strap that goes around your body and the GoPro attaches to it. It's like 24 euros, the cheapest item that I ordered. And I'm assuming they left it in because really I would have been shocked if they handed me a box that had nothing in it. Um, so I'm freaking out and immediately I call GoPro and they're like, don't worry, don't panic. Just take a picture of everything. We're gonna send you a link and you can upload your pictures and we will reach out to UPS. You don't have to do anything. We'll start the investigation. And I'm like, well, I bought this for a trip that I wanna film. Um, how long does this investigation take? And they're like, uh, it could take up to 10 days. I'm like, what the heck? Like, this is so not at all going as I planned, but I was in full blown tears. So I was just like, okay, thank you for your help. Uh, no problem, I'll upload those pictures 100% right away. And so I get the link, I upload the pictures and there's no sort of confirmation email or like confirmation message on the website when I send in the pictures. So I give it half an hour. I'm like, maybe I'll get an email in a little bit. I still get, I don't get anything. So I call GoPro again and I explain the situation and they're like, okay, yeah, we'll check your file. Okay, we do see you've submitted the photos. No problem, we're taking care of it. And then I retell the same thing that I bought this camera to be used on a trip that I'm leaving in five days and that is there any way to expedite the investigation process? And the guy on the phone was just awful. Like it's crazy how you can have some customer service reps who are so helpful and so there to help you and empathize and they totally get it. But this one was on the opposite end of the spectrum. This man was just like, honey, this is not my problem. This is your problem and I don't wanna hear about it. And so when I told him that I, needed this camera or I would like to have this camera before my trip. He was like, well, that's your fault. You should have uh, ordered it sooner. And I'm like, well, I mean, you know, I ordered it like 20 days before my trip. I, I didn't anticipate for my package to get stolen. He's like, sucks to suck. You should have been more prepared. I'm like, uh, okay, weird. Then I start to get a little bit defensive. Like, this is not my fault. You know, I paid my hard earned money to receive your product and I have an empty box sitting on my living room floor. And I'm like, I don't think it's legally, like I, I was like, I don't think legally I can be, I can receive an empty box. Like I paid your company money. That's like fraud to send an empty box. You know, whether they sent an empty box or whether UPS stole the package, I have an empty box that I paid 900 euros for. 
And he goes, well, let me tell you about French law because you don't know a damn thing. If you want to make a complaint, if you want to have a refund, you better get yourself a lawyer. I'm like, what? And this just sent me overboard because I'm like, okay, so this man is telling me that my pictures aren't proof enough and that I need to get a lawyer to get my money back and I need to go to small claims court. Like, this is what he was telling me. And I just like panicked. I realized I was going to get nowhere with this gentleman and we just ended the call. And uh, at this point, I think I was in full blown tears because it just, it felt like that man was telling me that he didn't believe me, that I'm lying to him and that if I wanted to get my money back, I would have to hire Laura. I'm like, I don't have money for that. Like, what? And so I calm down and I call GoPro again because I want to get this clarified. Like, I want to know if there's anything else I can do to add proof that I received an empty box. And this second gentleman from GoPro that I spoke to was very helpful. He looked into my file. He was trying to see if they could send me a replacement before the investigation was over and they couldn't, it was nice of him for trying. And he explained to me that typically the investigation goes on for about five or six days, that they've already reached out to UPS and that if I want to speed up the process, then I should reach out to UPS as well and submit a claim with them. He gave me like the file number and everything. Um, so I ended up calling UPS and explaining the whole problem to them. And they were like, yeah, no problem. We will send your claim off to our claims department and someone will call you within the next 24 hours. And they're going to request to come pick up the box and anything that's in the box so that we can investigate and, you know, get to the bottom of this. I'm like, yeah, no problem. Like I have the box. I have the one item that was in it. You're welcome to pick it up. And so I still haven't heard from UPS. At least their customer service reps were helpful. I mean, as helpful as they can be, right? Like, what are they going to do? They, they have to investigate. But um, yeah, overall, I just am so sick of this happening. Like not a single delivery can be made in this city that isn't stolen, tampered with, broken, uh, non-delivered like I just every single time I order anything in Paris there is always a problem like consistently there is a problem and because this has happened so many times to me I learned my lesson I did not want to get this delivered to me I wanted to go to a store and I wanted to pick it up but GoPro does not have that option in Paris like the only option was for me to get it delivered and I'm just thinking in my head I'm like okay if this investigation is done and they come to the conclusion that I was in fact sent an empty box, how, what are they going to do? Send it to me in the mail again and have this literally repeat itself? Like, what is the solution here, you know? In hindsight, there's a couple things that I wish I'd done and that I will 100% do in the future. I wish I had recorded the moment that the drivers handed me the package so that I could get their face and identity and also have a video of this like kind of tampered with package being given to me. Um, I wish that I had connected the dots of the fact that one package was almost as light as air and that was probably not normal and that GoPro would not probably separate my package into two boxes. Like I wish all of this had clicked and I don't know why I, I didn't, I don't know why it didn't click for me because it really was obviously way too light. And I wish that I had quickly peeked into the box and not let those drivers leave without an explanation and maybe gotten their names or gotten the license plate number of their UPS truck, something like that. Like, I don't know. I, I just, I wish I had definitely taken that video. And in the future, like any other package, I'm going to go down and pick up that package with a pair of scissors and I'm going to open the package in front of the delivery man. And if my items aren't there, like there is going to be hell to pay. You know, I just, <sighs> I'm sorry, you guys. I know I'm so heated about this again. It's just like with the Ikea delivery, it's like with every single delivery as a customer, when you pay for a service, when you pay for a delivery, when you pay for items, I just think you should get those items and get that service without having to spend hours on a telephone without losing almost a thousand euros without 
not having the equipment that you need to do the work you want to do, it just like, it's so unfair and unfair situations like this really boil my blood because I really feel like I did nothing wrong in this situation. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you found this video interesting or maybe useful if you're expecting packages in Paris or anywhere. I think it's nice to share these stories because it opens everyone's eyes up to other potential delivery scams. It makes you, you know, think twice about making sure to check everything when you receive your package and to take pictures of everything. Uh, let me know your thoughts down below. Also, let me know down below uh, if you have had similar experiences that you wanna share. Again, I think it's great to raise awareness because honestly, I was shocked that this happened during a UPS delivery because in Canada, in Toronto, where I'm from, UPS is a reputable delivery company. When something is being delivered with UPS, you're like, great, like I'm gonna have a good experience. And so it shocked me that this happened. And again, the investigation's not over. You know, all of this is alleged. Maybe GoPro really did send me an empty box by accident. I find that hard to believe because the box was damaged and the tape was very clearly opened. But uh, you know, maybe, maybe this isn't UPS's fault. It's my assumption. But once they come back with uh, the results of their investigation, once I have the GoPro, I'll let you guys know what they found. But yeah, thank you guys for bearing with me through this rant and I'll see you guys in my next one.